Hello everyone, Monster Drag Zen here with a tutorial on how to install a learning API that allows you to split your vocals from your music audio. Now what this will allow you to do is make an acapella from any music or song that you have or it's just where you can edit it yourself. I will show you how to do this. You will want to go to python.org. You want to go to downloads or releases. And you will want to download this version here. Click on download. Scroll down. I download the executable. Save file. Open file. Now yours will be different. You will have an installation setup wizard. But this is very important. Make sure you click add to path on the bottom here. It will be around somewhere over here. But make sure you click on add to path. So this way it will automatically add the path so you don't have to do it manually. So after you have finished installing Python. And then after you have done all that you want to shift and then right click. And click on open PowerShell window here. Uh, this is important because this will open up inside of the directory of this folder. So you want to just click on it. As you can see, it has opened it up into here. Now we will test to see if everything is installed correctly and working properly. We do Python dash dash version. As you can see, uh, we have successfully installed Python 3.7.8. Now you want to do pip dash dash version exactly like that to make sure uh, you have successfully installed the pip from python and i have 20.1.1 installed and now after you have done that you want to do pip install splitter wait a minute uh, pip install splitter now, as you can see, mine was very fast because I have already installed mine. But yours might look different and it will take longer. Just wait for the installation to finish. And then after you have done that, I will now show you how to install FFmpeg. Go back to your browser. Go to Google. FFmpeg. FM Pegamine, all that good stuff. I go to download, click on this Windows button, Windows builds by Zerino. Hope I didn't butcher that. I click on the link here. Now, this is important. You want to change this to 4.5.0. Yeah, let's go with that. 4.3. That's the version you want to use. Doesn't matter. Uh, Izzy, I swear to God. Click on download build. And open up the zip file. And then extract it to your desktop like so. By the way, the software I'm using is called 7-Zip, which can be found on 7-Zip.org. So if you're wondering what uh, zip file extractor I'm using. Now we just want to get rid of any unnecessary text. Like so. And now we want to put it into an important folder like the documents folder for instance. So this way we can find it easily later. And now after you've done this, you want to go inside of the folder. You want to go into bin. And then you want to copy this. And after you have copied that, you want to go to this PC. And then you want to right click it. And then click on properties and then advanced systems. And then you want to click on environment of variables. And then after you've done that, you want to go to path. You want to click on edit. And then you want to click on new. And then you just want to click control V to copy and paste the path you've just copied. And click on OK, just like so.
And now to make sure you have FFmpeg installed correctly. Go to your splitter folder. Go do this. And type in FF. Thanks, computer. FFmpeg. And now this should show you that it is indeed working correctly. If you get any errors, that means you did something wrong. But if you did everything correctly, it should look like this in the end. So, and then after everything is all said and done, you just want to do shift, then right click, open PowerShell window here. And then you just want to type in this code here. I'll leave it on the screen so you can copy it down yourself. And you just want to click on enter. 